Hello and welcome to Wille Care TV News. I am Anthonia Mwokolo. The news headlines. Court backs EFCC chairman dismisses removal suit. Namdekanu condemns Southeast killing six talks with federal government. On the foreign scene, Texas declares disaster ahead of tropical storm Alberto. And in sports, NFF inaugurates committee to revive beach soccer. Welcome back. Now the news in details. A human rights activist and legal practitioner based in Abuja, Victor Giwa, has petitioned the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Latif Fagwemi, and Inspector General of Police, Kayode Egbetokun, over allegations of threats to his life. In the separate petitions to the AGF and the IGP dated June 19, 2024, personally signed by Giwa, he alleged that there were plans to implicate him in trumped-up charges to detain him in police custody and poison in him. In both petitions, Barrister Giwa accused an ACP as the officer working with one Ashabe Waziri on the plot. A federal high court in Abuja on Wednesday dismissed a suit seeking the sack of Ola Ulukoyede as the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission chairman. Justice Obiora Iguatu, in a judgment, dismissed the suit on the grounds that the applicant lacked legal rights to institute the case. An Abuja-based legal practitioner, Mr. Victor Okmatola, had filed the suit against President Paula Tinubu over his appointment of Ulukoyede as EFCC's chair. Opatola in the suit had challenged the validity of the appointment on the grounds that Olukoyede did not meet the years of service required by the law for the office of the chairman of the anti-graft agency. He had listed the president of Nigeria, National Assembly, Attorney General of the Federation, and Olukoyede as first to fourth person respond, fourth respondents respectively. The respondents prayed the court to dismiss the suit for lacking merit. The Edo State Working Committee of the People's Democratic Party has confirmed the expulsion of the National Vice Chairman South South of the Party, Chief Dan Obi, also expelled are the former Deputy Governor of the State, Comrade Fili Shaibu, and the immediate past member representing Oredo Federal Constituency, Omorege Ogbeide Hama. The party's State Publicity Secretary, Oge Vasco, in a statement on Wednesday, said the decision was taken on Tuesday at a meeting attended by nine members of the State Working Committee at the party secretariat in Benin City. Let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, on Wednesday denounced the killings in the southeast over the group's agitation for secession. He also appealed for an out-of-court settlement of his ongoing treason trial by the federal government. The IPOB leader, who has been in detention since 2021 following his rearrest in Kenya and repatriation to Nigeria, made the appeal on Wednesday when he appeared for the continuation of his trial at the federal high court in Abuja. An Adoikiti High Court presided over by Justice J. O. Adeye sentenced Ojo Adeye Busi to life imprisonment on Wednesday for raping a 15-year-old girl. The Director of Public Prosecutions, Mr. Julius Ajibari, stated that the convict charged with a lone count of rape committed a crime when the victim was returning from school. He said Adeye Busi accosted the girl, lured her into his room and assaulted her. Ajibari said the victim did not initially disclose the assault, but her father discovered the incident when she collapsed at home, bleeding from her private parts. She was rushed to the hospital and Ayegusi was subsequently arrested and charged. He said the offense is contrary to Section 31, Subsection 2 of the Child's Right Law of Ekiti State 2012. Justice Yang Ekwo of the Federal High Court Abuja has dismissed a fundamental rights suit instituted by a Binance executive, Nadim Anjawala, against the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the Office of the National Security Advisor. The case was dismissed due to the absence of Anjawala's legal team during the proceedings. Anjawala had approached the court seeking a declaration that his detention by Nigerian authorities was unlawful. He also filed a request for costs in his favor. He emphasized the emotion 
emotional and financial strain his detention has placed on himself, his family and relatives. Earlier, his legal representative, Tonye Kukubro, withdrew the case without giving a specific reason. The withdrawal occurred after reports surfaced that Anjawala had fled the country following his detention. Up next are stories on the foreign scene after the break. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. On the foreign scene, the U.S. state of Texas has issued a disaster declaration as the first named storm of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season took aim at the Gulf of Mexico. Texas Governor Greg Abbott issued a disaster declaration on Wednesday for 51 counties in the southeastern part of the state from Brownsville all the way to Houston, nearly 350 miles away. In entertainment, international award-winning singer David Adeleke, popularly known as Davido, has dragged Sofia Momodo, the mother of his first child, Imade, to court seeking custody of the daughter. In an originating motion filed by his lawyers, Dr. Olani Yarije, O.K. Barra and others at the Lagos State High Court dated April 17, 2024, Davido is praying the court for an order granting joint custody of Imade Adeleke to the applicant. In the alternative, the singer prayed to the court for an order granting to the applicant unfettered and unrestricted access to Ms. Imade. The suit has as applicants David Adedeji Adeleke, while Sophia Momodu was listed as the sole respondent. In sports, the president of Nigeria Football Federation, Alaji Ibrahim Musa Gusau, will on, on Thursday at the NFF Secretariat, Abuja, inaugurate the Federation's Futsal and Beach Soccer Subcommittee. The committee has appointed as chairman Otwe Kong Isse Essien with Alhaji Ahmed Yusuf as vice chairman. The Futsal and Beach Soccer Committee Subcommittee is responsible for the organization of all futsal and beach soccer competitions and deals with all matters relating to futsal and beach soccer. And just before we go, here's a recap of the headlines. Court backs EFCC chairman dismisses removal suit. Namdekanu condemns Southeast killing six talks with federal government. On the foreign scene, Texas declares disaster ahead of tropical storm Alberto. And in sports, NFF inaugurates committee to revive beach soccer. And that's the package of our news bulletin. Kindly follow us on all our social media platforms at Oweleke TV. Visit our website at www.oweleke.tv. I am Antonia Wonkolo. Many thanks for watching.